you have any personal um, picks that you'd like to share with us? Well, um, let's talk about value wines. <laughs> well, you know, you can't do better than the wines in terms of value than the wines coming out of Argentina and Chile. Mm -hmm. I mean, I gave a tasting once in which I had the $8 Casiero del Diablo from Concha y Toro. And we did a blind tasting, and people liked it as much as they did a $35 wine and a $55 wine. I mean, some of these, you know, really excellent, excellent values from Chile and Argentina. Um, California, I mean, there are a lot of good low price wines. Barefoot Cellars mm -hmm. is a particularly good one, and they sell between $8 and $12. Um, uh, Red Truck is another good producer of value level wines. Um, Are these all um, with corks? Dare I ask <laughs> this? <laughs> Do you care? No, but sometimes it's, well, sometimes with a gift, I feel a little more you do. to give. Uh, well, something. you know, it's, it's funny, because one of the best producers of wine is New Zealand. And in 2007, New Zealand went 100% screw cut. And their wines are just, I mean, they're not in the 8 to $10 level. They tend to be 14 and above. But they are extraordinary values. Um, Babbage is one of them that comes mm -hmm. in at about twelve dollars. I mean, that's usually on the low lowest end, but it's very good quality. And for a white wine, or for any wine that you're going to be drinking in two or three years, mm -hmm. a uh, screw cap is actually preferable. Well, why? Um, it doesn't have the romance or the tradition, but you also don't get corked wines. Mm -hmm. And depending on who you're talking to, anywhere from one of 15 to one of 35 uh, cork, um, wines with corks in them tend to have a, have a corked taste to it. So if you want to be sure to give your guest a wine that's not corked, <laughs> give them a, a screw cap, screw cap <laughs> wine. Um, there is something to be said for um, wines that you're going to age for 20 or 30 years. The idea is that the cork does allow a certain level of oxygen transfer in there that a screw cap wouldn't and that's valuable for those wines but truth of the matter is um, jury's still out on that because we haven't had that much experience with the screw cap mm -hmm. over a 20 or 30 years. It's a little psychological thing there. Probably. There is, yes. definitely. And mind you, I enjoy opening a bottle with a cork in it and some of these corks are magnificent. I mean, well, I even collect them. I mean, I'm embarrassed. No, I'm not embarrassed. There's, you know, corks are come in all different sizes, all different designs, and all the rest of it. So I get a kick out of them. Do you occasionally mark one about? Well, to remember I, the event? Um, no, I do have about ten or fifteen bottles that I've kept to remember events, but uh, not so much corks <laughs> to remember events.